Hello Taurus, summarizing and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? All right, Taurus, so we do have the Eight of Cups. We have the uh, Ten of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Three of Swords. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw the Ten of Wands to the Three of Swords is I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. And I do feel like this is referring to a romantic relationship here um, that you share with someone. Um, I feel like the relationship in itself, it started to become very hard. It started to become very challenging. Um, it started to become a massive burden, I would say, for you as well. Uh, but with the Three of Swords coming out here, uh, that's kind of telling me that even though, yes, this relationship was very hard and burdensome for you, Taurus, um, I feel like walking away from this person was a very challenging and difficult thing for you to do, but you did it. That's one thing that I will say. You definitely did. You definitely walked away. Um, I don't feel like you wanted, you know what I mean, to walk away from this person. But due to how the relationship itself was starting to really affect you, you know, a lot of you felt like you had no other choice but to kind of walk away is basically what I'm getting. Um, all right. Let's look at this person. Let's see what's going on with them. Wait a minute. Okay. How does this person currently view this relationship? All right, let's see. I feel like this person is trying to manifest you in this relationship that they once upon a time had with you back into fruition. Um, all over again is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like this person is trying to manifest a reconciliation. I feel like this person is trying to just simply manifest you back into their life um, all over again. There's an overall energy of them essentially wanting um, you to resurface back up here for them and make things right here with them. There's an overall energy of them just simply wanting you to come back to them, more of the story, okay? And currently at the moment, I do feel like they're trying their hardest to manifest that um, into fruition. I also don't see this person, um, you know, resurfacing back up here for you or anything like that. You know, it's as if they want you to basically gravitate towards them versus them basically gravitating towards you. But currently at the moment, yes, they are trying to manifest um, a reconciliation here with you into fruition. They are trying to manifest you back into their life um all over again because they do want you back that's that's one thing that i will say they definitely do want you back it just kind of looks like they're not gonna actually like physically like get up and chase you down it kind of looks like they're not going to you know text you or call you or anything like that um it kind of looks like what they're trying to do instead is just kind of sit here and just manifest you um in this relationship that they once upon a time had here with you back into fruition all over again all right how does Taurus? Oh, wait a minute. That's too many. Let's see. How does Taurus currently feel? How does Taurus currently feel? Let's see. So we have the world. Okay. We have the four of pentacles. And then we also have the wheel of fortune. You know, there's an overall energy of you essentially feeling like now that this person's out of your life, a massive weight has been lifted off your shoulders. So a lot of you feel a lot lighter now. A lot of you feel less stressed. Um, a lot of you feel less overwhelmed is kind of what I'm getting. Um, there's a big part of you, though, that feels like you made the right judgment call here by walking away from this person due to how... Um, you're currently feeling as far as feeling like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders as far as like you have essentially feeling like, oh, like I could finally breathe again um, is concerned. But with the four of pentacles coming out here, despite the fact that you may feel like you made the right judgment call here by letting this person go, there's still an overall energy of you essentially holding on to them and what you once upon a time had with them, energetically speaking. Tell me more about the four of pentacles. Yeah. That's the thing is that you're still kind of holding on. You're still kind of holding on. And a lot of you find yourself questioning why. Why you're still holding on to them and what you once upon a time had with them. Especially after everything that you went through with this person and everything that you experienced here with this person. You know, a lot of you do find yourself asking yourself, like, but why? Like, why am I still holding on to this person? Why do I still want this person in my life? Why do I still love them? Why do I still care about them? So I feel like you are consciously aware um, that you're still holding on. You're consciously aware that you're still holding on to them and what you once upon a time had with them. Is basically what I'm getting off of your energy. Um, 
Taurus. How does this person currently feel? How does this person currently feel? I feel like this person's having a hard time. Yeah, I feel like this person's having a hard time. Um, yeah, I feel like this person's having a hard time, like, um, going to sleep at night. Yeah, they're having a hard time going to sleep at night. I feel like you're definitely weighing very heavily uh, on this person's mind to the point where it is kind of hard for them to sleep at night. Because it kind of looks like all they do is, is think about you um, and how much they want you back in their life. It doesn't look like you reached out to them, though. It doesn't look like you reached out to them. It doesn't look like this person um, received any ounce of communication uh, from you, from the looks of it, Taurus. Um, I do want to look a little bit more into the uh, Nine of Swords. There's something, okay, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something about them wishing that they can take back something that they said. I'm not entirely sure what that's even referring to. Uh, maybe this person said something uh, when this, you know, tower moment occurred here between the two between the two of you. Now, this tower could represent a really big fight, a really big argument, and it could also represent a breakup. Um, I feel like the two of you more than likely got into like a really big fight slash argument about something, and it led to a breakup is kind of what I'm getting, but... I feel like this person said something to you. I feel like this person said something to you and, and they kind of wish that they can kind of go back into time um, and not say what they initially said to you. Especially with the Eden wants to the Tower to the Sun. That's kind of making me feel... And I'm not saying that this is what they said word for word, but I feel like it's something along like the lines of them essentially feeling um, like they're better off without you to the point where they could have even just outright said that to you, that they're better off without you, that they'll be 10 times better. Um, yeah, that they'll be 10 times better without you. They'll be 10 times happier without you. It's kind of what I'm getting. I just feel like this person said something, man. I feel like this person said something during this tower moment that they're kind of wishing they could just take back. kind of what I'm getting but see that's another thing though that's kind of confusing me about this person and I'm just going to be a straight shooter about this one here because I'm not going to sugarcoat this okay not only do they wish they could take back something that they said to you during like this big fight such argument that occurred here between you and them that led to like a breakup here between you and them to happen I I gotta be honest I I feel like um I feel like this relationship, just like it's been very stressful and overwhelming for you, it has been very stressful and overwhelming for them as well to the point where they've been wanting out. They've been wanting out of this marriage. They've been wanting out of this relationship. So I don't know. This to me kind of feels like, you know, acts and you shall receive type of situation. Like they wanted out of this marriage. They wanted out of this relationship due to how overwhelming it was, due to how stressful it was, due to how toxic it was, due to how chaotic it was. Like they're finally getting what it is that they essentially wanted. Like they wanted out of this relationship. Boom. Now they're out. You know what I mean? And now it kind of looks like they want back in. Um is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. So yeah, I feel like the both of you have been very uh overwhelmed. Um, and stressed out by this relationship that you guys share with one another. I do. Hence why they've been wanting out of this marriage and a relationship that they share with you. But yeah, it's like now they're finally getting what it is that they essentially wanted. And now they're starting to realize, oh man, like, I actually don't want to be without Taurus. I actually don't want to live my life without them. But again, this this feels like a, you know, this feels like a ask and you shall receive type of situation. You know, I feel like they've been asking for a way out of this marriage, asking for a way out of this, you know, relationship. And, you know, they finally get, you know, um, what it is that they want. They're just like, oh, wait a minute. No, like, I actually don't want this after all. Um, it's kind of what I, I'm getting. Tell me more about the page of pentacles. All right, <clears throat> we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Six of Wands. 
sorry, my phone decided to cut off, but I was just basically breaking this overall energy down. So if I'm repeating myself, I apologize in advance, but there's like this overall energy towards of them essentially wishing they can kind of go back into time. You know what I mean? And not say what they essentially said, like during this fight slash argument that occurred here. Um, between the two of you is what I keep getting here off of this person's overall energy. I just kind of feel like this person said something out of anger. Yeah, I feel like this person said something out of anger. Not only did they say something out of anger, but I feel like, um, God. But I kind of feel like now that they're kind of like looking back, right, on this whole like ordeal that happened here between you and them, they're kind of realizing that they handled the situation poorly. I'm also kind of getting at that, that they handled the situation poorly. In other words, instead of them lashing out at you and, and saying mean things to you, it's like this person wishes that they would have just had like a calm conversation with you um, and told you how they felt and, you know, things of that nature. But it kind of looks like they didn't do that. It kind of looks like... Um, if anything, they, they just kind of lashed out at you and more than likely said some pretty hurtful things to you. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting primarily um, off of this person's overall energy. I mean, there's, there is, for the most part, a lot of recognition going on here on their behalf as far as like, you know, them realizing like, man, like I fucked up. I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have said that. Like, what was I thinking? Like, you know, um, I'm also kind of getting like an overall energy of them making it a priority to not do that again. Um, in other words, the next time they find themselves extremely angry and upset, um, they're going to find themselves, you know, taking a little bit of a, a step back, um, and calming themselves down first, you know, before they come out the mouth to say something hurtful to you and, you know, things of that nature, because all it really does is lead to like a really big fight slash argument between the two of you. And it doesn't really help the situation or anything like that. It just amplifies it. Um, so they're kind of realizing that moving forward, um, they need to not do that anymore. They need to not allow their anger to get the best of them to the point where they're coming out the mouth to say like very hurtful things to you, causing the situation to escalate um, when a calm conversation could have totally like resolved absolutely everything here between the two of you. I just kind of feel like um, Taurus, and you may not be aware of this and I'm not making excuses for this person because I'm not, um, but I'm just kind of going based off of what I'm kind of seeing here coming from this person. Um, it just kind of looks like there was a lot of built up like anger and frustration going on on this person's behalf it kind of looks like they were suppressing a whole lot for whatever reason and there's a huge possibility Taurus because oftentimes like people will suppress how they feel especially within a relationship when they feel like their feelings are not being valid um or understood um or respected um you know things like that so with that being said there's a huge possibility that you know, this moment could have occurred here due to the fact that they kind of feel like they can't talk to you, maybe because there's been a time or two where you made them feel like their feelings just don't matter, their feelings are just not valid. Um, you know, that's definitely a possibility. That's that's definitely a possibility. And I'm and I'm sure that you've experienced that yourself possibly with this person, considering the fact that you do have the ten of wands to the three of swords attached to you. Um, you know, for a lot of you, you could have found yourself biting down on your tongue quite a bit, you know, when it comes on to the stuff they put you through, causing you to kind of suppress it all and just take it all in and not say anything back uh to them in return. You know, that's definitely a possibility. Um, so maybe the both of you unknowingly don't realize this about one another that you guys do kind of make one another feel like y'all feelings just don't matter to one another maybe you make them feel that way and maybe they make you feel that way that's definitely a possibility but with this one in particular I feel like there was like a build-up going on here on their end like um you would do something to upset them they won't say anything and then you turn around you do something else to upset them and they don't say anything but it's just constantly like building up within them to the point where boom it just kind of came out and just led to like a really big fight argument to the point where y'all are now no longer together. Um, but they're kind of realizing that instead of them allowing things to build up, um, that they need to communicate to you right then. And they're like, Hey, like didn't like this, didn't appreciate that instead of just allowing, you know, for it to build up within them. What actions will this person take towards forest or moving forward? Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, okay? We also have the uh, Temperance card, and then we also have the Moon out here. So, 
in regards to how this person plans on moving forward. It kind of looks like in the end they're going to get what they want as far as like a reconciliation um, is concerned. It just kind of looks like it's not going to happen um, as quickly as they would want it to happen is kind of what I'm getting just based off of these three cards that are coming out here. So they're going to get the reconciliation they want from you. You guys will eventually talk. You guys will eventually reconnect with one another, but it's not going to be as quickly as they would want it to be. Um, that's one thing that I'm, that I am kind of getting primarily. So, um, you know, it kind of looks like this person, you know, wants the two of you to just reconnect with one another by the end of the day or by tomorrow. It doesn't look like it's going to happen by the end of the day and or tomorrow. It kind of looks like it's going to take some time. The bottom of the deck, we do have the six of swords. We got the four of cups, the ten of swords. Double confirmation that it's going to take some time. As time plays out and they don't hear from you, it's going to cause them to feel like, okay, like maybe Taurus is really done with me. Maybe Taurus is really moving forward and moving on with their life, you know, things of that nature. But I am definitely getting strongly for sure without a shadow of a doubt that the two of you will reconnect with one another. You guys will cross paths with one another and you guys will essentially work it out. It just looks like it's going to take some time. Okay. Um, here's my thing too about this person um, is that they have the ability to reach out to you and fix and repair things here with you. They have the ability to do so. It just kind of looks like they're choosing not to and because they're choosing not to reach out to you. Um, and it could be because, you know, they felt like they didn't do anything wrong. So you should be the one trying to fix and repair things here with them. You know, that's a possibility or they could just be allowing their ego and their pride to get the best of them. That's also another possibility. But regardless of the reason why this person is choosing to not reach out to you because they do have the ability to do so, um, they could get the reconciliation that they want with you a lot sooner if they were to just simply reach out to you and say, hey, like, can we, can we talk? Can we please work this out? You know what I mean? Like this reconciliation could happen a lot sooner, but because they're choosing to go about it the way they're choosing to go about it, it kind of looks like, yes, it will happen. It just kind of looks like it's not going to happen as quick as they would want it to happen. Um, what actions will Taurus take towards this person are moving forward? So we do have the five of pentacles. We got the... Uh, six of wands and then we also have the uh nine of cups out here this to me kind of feels like an overall energy of you trying your hardest to adjust to life without this person in it this to me kind of feels like an overall energy of you trying your hardest to find yourself all over again so a lot of you may have felt like you really lost yourself uh within this person to the point where you're kind of making it your main focus slash priority to like find yourself all over again okay moving forward i see you very very focused on you very focused on your independence um your finances your career you know things of that nature but at the bottom of the deck we do have the uh, temperance card to the five of wands to the king of pentacles that's kind of telling me that's kind of telling me right here that you're being divinely guided you're being divinely guided to reach out to this person um, and have a conversation here with this person. But with the five of wands coming out here, that's kind of telling me that you're allowing your ego and your pride and what happened here between you and this person to prevent you from doing so. As far as like reaching out to them is concerned and fixing or repairing things here with them is concerned. Um, I'm not really worried or concerned about this relationship, to be completely honest, because you guys will reconnect here with one another. That's kind of besides the point here. You guys definitely will. I just kind of feel like it's currently being delayed as far as like this reconciliation is concerned due to you probably still being upset and angry at them due to whatever happened here between you and them. Possibly the same for this person. It could just have a lot to do with the fact that everybody's in their ego and their pride right now. So nobody's trying to reach out to nobody right now. Like it could be a, a, a variety of different reasons as to why you guys are choosing to not gravitate towards one another at this current moment. Um, but I feel like you're being divinely guided to reach out to this person, just like I feel like they're being divinely guided to reach out to you. But it just kind of looks like due to how you guys want to handle the situation this reconciliation is going to be delayed for now is kind of what I'm getting. It will happen. That's kind of besides the point. It will happen and it could happen a lot sooner. It just kind of looks like it's not going to happen a lot sooner because of the way you guys are choosing to approach this entire situation. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Cups to the Magician. Now, for those of you who do not know, this is the person that's actually in the Strength card is basically the Empress. And then we also have the uh, Emperor out here. We did get the Empress out here with the Eight of Pentacles. And for those of you who do not know this, the person that's actually in the chariot um, is the uh, Emperor. So 
it kind of looks like, yes, you guys will reconcile with one another, but it kind of looks like you're going to be the one to actually uh, reach out to them from what it looks like. You're harnessing a lot of masculine energy. Um, so with that being said, it kind of looks like, yeah, you're going to end up being the one to reach out to them. Now, masculine doesn't necessarily mean dude, although you could totally be a dude. You know what I mean, dude? But you could totally be a female. Uh, so don't get caught up in the gender. Nothing's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, but your person's sitting in a lot of feminine energy right now. And feminine energy is typically they're known for sitting back waiting to essentially receive. Masculine energies, on the other hand, are all about taking action, right? Um, so it kind of looks like, yes, it's reconciliation. It will occur, but it's going to occur when you want it to occur is basically what I'm getting. So when you feel like reaching out to them, you will. You will, and when you do reach out to them, that's when I see the two of you coming back together. That's when I, I see the two of you, you know, talking to one another, fixing or repairing things here with one another, um, and, and just simply picking up where you guys left off with one another is, is basically what I'm getting, all right? So I do want to look at uh, what the Romance Angels have to say for Taurus in regards to the spread. All right, let's see what we got here. So we have uh, make the effort and we have you deserve love. Typically when I get you deserve love, it kind of reminds me, it kind of reminds me of the Ace of Cups, but it also kind of reminds me of the Eight of Wands. So not only are the two of you going to eventually reconcile with one another, but I do see the two of you having like a very healing conversation with one another, okay? Uh, we have Make the Effort, which is very similar to the Eight of Pentacles um, and the Three of Pentacles for me anyways as a reader, which is all about coming together and fixing and repairing something as a team. But it does kind of require the two of you to come together as a team. It can't just be them trying to fix and repair absolutely everything here and you're not doing anything like it has to be like a team effort in order to get this relationship back on track all over again which to be completely honest i don't feel like you guys are going to have an issue with that it kind of looks like you guys are going to come together as a team to try to make uh this relationship work out here between the two of you so you guys will definitely reconcile with one another but it kind of looks like for now for now anyways um this reconciliation is is being a little bit delayed right now um because of how you guys are choosing to approach the situation but it's okay i mean i think that um once the dust settles um and once you're no longer angry and upset with them and they're no longer angry and upset with you you guys will come together at the perfect time all right so that's what i have for you hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye